take our lovable smiley face character Winston. We're gonna make an evil version of him. We're gonna call him Darth Winston. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Alright, so first after we're gonna get logged in, get set up with the usernames for Khan Academy today. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our computer science area. We're gonna click on programming basics. Okay, I'm already there. We'll click on programming basics. Then click on intro intro to variables. Okay. Alright, and now we have our smiley face Winston. All of his data sets are in place. Okay, we created him yesterday. Okay, but there's already a created version on Khan Academy. We could use that one. Okay, so what we're essentially gonna do, we're gonna change the color of his face. Okay, we're gonna change basically change the colors around. We're gonna also add a couple ellipses as pupils for his eyes. Make him super, super evil. Okay, here we go. Okay, first let's start with our no stroke thing. We talked about that a little bit. We're not going to have a stroke for him. Okay, if we wanted to, if you put numbers in there. Okay. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. They won't put anything in there. But we'll just leave it. We're not going to have a stroke in, the, in there anyway. We'll, we'll discuss that when we use something where we have stroke around the, um, that's pretty much the bordering of our picture. So here, we want to um, take his face, we want to make his face black, pitch black. Okay, now I showed you guys, if you click on the numbers, it'll actually pull up the color panel and you put your mouse over there, you could adjust colors from there, okay, and it'll change the color. Okay, but he, for, for this one, we want them as dark as can be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put in zero for, our, for all of our data sets, for our red zero data set, our green, and our blue. Okay, and that's gonna make it make him pitch black, all right, like so. Okay, we're not gonna do anything to the ellipse. Okay, I like I like the size, like the um, width and the height. We're gonna leave that one alone. Okay. As for the eyes, we are going to make the eyes kind of a dark gray color. Okay, so we're gonna change this to 165. For our red shade, okay, and our green, we're gonna put in 179. Okay, and for our blue, it'll be 178. Okay, that's the nice shade of gray we have there. All right, good. We also want to do the same thing with the mouth. We want the same exact color. So, okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste that in there. Copy. I'm just going to paste that in there so we'll have the same gray color for his mouth. Easy, simple, fun. Okay. Now we're going to create little little red pupils for his eyes. Really, really intensify the evil that Winston brings here. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to add more ellipses underneath the eyes. Okay, and we're going to kind of place that. We're going to place them exactly. Where these are, only I'm going to make them smaller so they, they fit inside of his eyes, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so first, okay, I'm going to write fill. Okay, we're not going to give him the color yet. I'm going to put fill, have the parentheses in there. We'll just leave it with that basic fill right there for now. Okay, now for our ellipses, the first ellipse, okay, okay, again, it's going to go inside his left eye there. Okay, so we're going to put exactly in the middle, okay, on the x axis where. Um, the first eyeball is so 157, okay, 151. Those will stay the same as the other eye ellipses. Only when we get to the height and width, we're gonna make those smaller so they actually fit inside that eye. Okay, so I'm just gonna put 20 and 20. Okay, 20 and 20. Okay, see now we have this beautiful red dot and it fits right in the middle of his eye. Okay, it's scary. It's fierce. He almost looks like Robot evil Winston. Okay. So let's create our, our other ellipse, our other pupil. We'll type in ellipse. All right. We're going to put it on the exact coordinates for our x and y axis. So 304 and 142. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we're also we're going to make it the same size as the other pupil. Okay, so 20 for width and 20 
for our height. Okay, again, 20 for width, 20 for height. Oh, and we got him. Okay, that's all. We just want to make evil, evil version of Winston. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click, once we're done with this, we're going to click Save as Spinoff. We're going to save that. We're going to title this one just Evil Winston. Okay, Evil Winston. Save it. Okay, when you save that project, instead of intro to variables up there, it'll just say, it'll say Evil Winston. Okay, and it saves as a spin-off of the original one. Okay, and then we're also going to screenshot it up. And we're going to upload the screenshot in the forum. Okay, so Command Shift 4. Okay, take a screenshot of both the code and the picture. Ooh, okay, snapshot. Okay, upload that screenshot of Winston. Best of luck until next time.